say right after Labor Day or right after any holiday, it's crazy. And then usually that's the case because there's a lot of customers waiting. They kind of bring their car in for service for three, four days. So this G-Wagon, nothing really crazy about this one. Uh, he just wanted to uh, have the exhaust tapes powder coated. So these are not painted. These are powder coated, which gives it a much longer life. It's not going to chip fast. And yeah, that's all for this one. It's being towed right back to the customer's house. Why does he just drive it home? He has another car that's actually coming from his house now here for different stuff. And this is going back to him. So as, as, as soon as that one comes here, this is going back. He couldn't drive it himself because he's busy. So yeah, a lot of our clients have really busy schedules. So how are you? What did you have to eat today? Lunch. What did you eat? So why is your shirt ketchup? <laughs> I'm not kidding. Check it. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh, I, what I do is just put the lights on, on the top. Oh, I put the lights? Yeah. And this one over here, just put the bumper. This color is 90%. Hey, paint. No pinto? Felix. Okay. Uh -huh. he, they blame me this morning because somebody put in the Instagram pictures. I don't know who's big, Mano, whoever it was, they put my picture on Instagram. And this guy for the picture. Yeah, why only put picture on the Instagram? Only it's him. Uh, me is a uh, RTV local Luis Alonso. That's my uh, Instagram, if you want to know. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. See, see they, they're still mad. So what? You're a hard working I didn't man. Say, huh? You're a hard working man. Right? Yeah. And they come mad because of that? Jeez. <laughs> Luis, I love you. <laughs> hey, man. Yes. Yes. Damn. First in the world, Rift Fender replacement, carbon fiber for the SF90. And guess what? This is the SF90 Spider, not even the coupe. So this is the first SF90 Spider that's going to get a body kit on it. Novatech did release a kit. They did one in Germany on a coupe. It wasn't this crazy. This has a massive amount of parts. But look at this massive fender vent right here. The SF90 was a little bit soft looking, so we're gonna make it look really crazy with this entire kit. This is the fender right here. As you can see, it needs to be painted. I put it down here. This is the rear deck lid. Full carbon replacement, of course, with all the screws on there and everything. So that piece comes off, this goes on there. Same with the fender, same with a lot of the rocker panels, a lot of the other pieces, components. This car is going to have a tremendous amount of carbon fiber, crazy wheels, of course. It's just non-stop parts for this SF90 Spider. We're not going to be able to show you guys this car completed this week or anything like that, but it's going to be wild because we're going to do sign clear bra on it, a whole bunch of stuff. So stay tuned. This is going to be the baddest SF90 coupe or Spider in the entire planet. <sighs> Long day. Back to reality. Halloween yet, you know that? It's hot. What does that mean? Your hair's melting? I don't get it. Is your hair melting? That is hot? You have a problem with my hair? I have a problem with everything about you. If you have a problem, we can fix that. This is a big repair project. We haven't shown you guys this much too much. Uh, this is a fully repainted car. This is a Lamborghini paint color. It's not the original color. This is Grigio Titans. Very, very nice color. One of the nicest factory Lamborghini colors out there. And it is in a matte configuration. So matte Grigio Titans, also with a full satin clear bra. So all of it is clear bra already. We did it while all the parts are apart because the clear bra now looks like it's not even there. It also has a full Rift Carbon Forged body kit on there. So all this stuff is gonna be forged carbon fiber to go with this really nice gray color. Rift exhaust, it has uh, custom wheels, suspension, tune. We're doing uh, McLaren racing seats. A lot going on with this car. So we're trying to rush to finish it right now. The customer wants the car back and it has to be perfect. A lot of our customers want fast, perfection and best price. So. We have to try to give them all three of them at the same time, but sometimes it's hard. I don't know what's going on with his hair. He looks like Blanca from Street Fighter. What's the name? Yeah, Blanca. Oh, Blanca, yeah. That fucking guy that does that sh <laughs> Anyways, it's not Halloween yet, but we have our animal here, so. Get the car done. <laughs> Blanca. <laughs> you have to say something, just tell me, please. Yeah. I just want you to finish this car, man. We get on to the next one. The last samurai. <laughs> that really makes fun of your hair. I need to cut my hair. I need a hair? No. In, this, in English, huh? Haircut? I need a haircut. Yeah. Thank you. you my my t-shirt. <laughs> huh? 
<laughs> so this customer you guys have seen in our previous uh, videos this wraith had a problem yesterday uh, he was driving uh, somewhere in hollywood and the roads in hollywood are not really too good so when you have low profile tires especially 24s this is what happens when you hit a pothole so he did uh, break the wheel so we're gonna go ahead and get him a new wheel also this car might have some suspension damage we're gonna put it on the jack right now santos is about to lift it up and see what else we need so yeah let's see what we need and we're gonna get this thing fixed and back to the customer After hitting a pothole, not only uh, is the tire tire came up here on the sidewall, it's completely gone, leaking from there. But he did crack the wheel in the back, so we have to obviously replace the wheel. We can't use the same wheel. We don't want to weld it. We don't want to fix it. So we're gonna get him a new wheel, new tire, and also on the right front, there is suspension damage as well. Arms bent. We're gonna have to change that too. Everything has to be from Rolls Royce, so everything original. We have to order parts and get this car uh, repaired. So I think this repair should take about maybe four days. The only reason why is because parts are delayed, or else it's basically like a two-day repair. You know, suspension, arms repair, a replacement. So about four days to finish this car. Okay, so we have this down here. This customer called in saying there's noise coming when he applies his brakes. So this is what we have. There's absolutely nothing left on the brake pads of his old pads. So we're gonna go ahead and replace his pads, rollers. We are doing new tires. His tires are very bad. There's absolutely nothing left. So we're doing four tires on this thing. Front and rear brakes, sensors, rollers, also wheel alignment. And uh, this car should be ready at the end of the day today. We already got the parts in, in a matter of two hours. Here are the new parts. Brand new brake pads. Yeah, right. from Rolls Royce. This is how it should look. We have sensors, pads, rollers, rollers are in the box. Santos is getting them right now. Brand new tires are already mounted, balanced. We're good to go. I don't think there's many shops that can finish a full brake job from back. Rollers, pads, sensors, tires, alignment, all in one day. That's what separates us from everybody else. We have fast service, we have parts available. We have a really good staff crew. By the way, we got these parts, we Ubered these parts here. Sometimes the dealership doesn't have time to deliver. They have like two deliveries a day. So if we miss the cutoff time, we have to go all the way to the dealer, pick it up. So thank God for Uber. We get all the parts here immediately. So that's what we do. And that's why we have fast service. All right, guys, we are standing in back of this very rare, probably the craziest Aventador SVJ I've ever seen for sure, but probably in the world because this is VJ63. It's an original one, only 63 made of these. It is the Roadster. And this one is one of one because it is in this beautiful matte white colorway. It has all these crazy red painted accents all over it. It even has the engine bonnet in full carbon fiber, which I've never seen before on an SVJ. No SVJs on the sides. The SVJ is actually on the carbon fiber bonnet. But what we're doing to this car right now is exhaust system. As you can see, these tips we ordered from Capristo because they're actually carbon fiber tips, but it is our version three of the exhaust system. Normally we don't change the tips. We leave the factory ones because they are pretty nice, but the cus customer wanted carbon fiber because the car has so much carbon fiber on it. So we got the tips from Capristo. It looks amazing. As you can see, we're going to be doing Novatec suspension, which is going to lower the car. Obviously we have a custom steering wheel, which is right here. Check this thing out, carbon fiber. And this has the shift lights like a Ferrari, little LEDs. And we hand painted this red stripe, the 12 o'clock stripe right there. It has white stitching. This matches the interior because the interior is loaded with carbon fiber, with white, with Alcantara and red. So the steering wheel is gonna match really, really well. The steering wheel on these cars, even though it's a special edition, is kind of weak, honestly. So got that going right there. The wheels are our revolver wheels. These we did on that gray Yaris that people were going nuts over. Now we're doing it on this SVJ63. Satin black with hand painted red pinstripe around it, as you can see. Very, very small pinstripe, nothing too major. The original wheels actually had a red pinstripe as well, so we're mimicking that. So this is the center lock that it came with. Actually from the factory, these are an option in either red anodized or black. This is unfortunately the red. And as you can see, the red doesn't match anything on the car. So we ordered black ones for this customer. You can't paint these, you can't powder coat these because this is a center lock and it's very sensitive with the teeth. So you gotta have no excess paint on there or powder coat. So we're getting the black one to complete the look because this looks awful. We have the rift front lip also which we had hand painted as well red it's also getting a tune so the ecu was sent out it's going to shoot a lot of fire like i said it has the rdb version 3 exhaust so it's going to be very very loud and uh, perfect sounding exhaust system and with the sf90 spider project over there next to it yeah you're going to see a lot more of this on the next episode when we have it all done and dropped i'm, I'm super excited to see these wheels on it because i think it's right at the limit of being really crazy but still being nice so as you can see carbon fiber again with the red hand painted stripe we're gonna clear about that after. 
But Javier right now is doing the front suspension. We're actually well on the way on this car. So pending on getting the ECU back by Friday, we're gonna film this completely done. And this is gonna be the best SVJ we've ever filmed. Probably the nicest in the States, if not the world. So stay tuned.